What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome in my Volvo XC90 model year 2007 The first time we are on a bit of a road trip in my new XC90 So pretty awesome to be out there today Now today we are driving from pretty much the most southern part of the Netherlands to uh, the most northern We are driving to Leeuwarden, that's a city which already featured more often in some videos on the channel For example the 11th city tour last year but anyway, we've got about three and a half hours single trip, so yeah, quite a long journey for today. And that's also kind of nice to well experience how the XC90 will behave today. Overall, I know, knock on wood, this car is pretty solid. But yeah, maybe after some hours driving, we will find some small things I need to look into a little bit more. So far, the XC90 has already turned out to be a great highway cruiser. I am on cruise control all the time and you know just going along it's very nice to be in here very comfortable but um, yeah more about that later we're gonna head on a little bit for now and i'm gonna update you guys later So the first 200 kilometers are on the clock. We've been driving for a good two hours now, just on cruise control, but maybe a bit more about the drivetrain of this car. This is the 2.5 liter turbocharged five cylinder uh, old school Volvo engine. It's a petrol engine, all wheel drive as well. And well, the first thing I'm quite uh, interested by is the fuel consumption because today on the highway, just driving around 100 kilometers an hour, 62 miles an hour, the average consumption is about 10 liters per 100 kilometers. So that's uh, quite hefty. On the other side, it's kind of okay, I think, for an old engine, heavy car. But um, it's also pretty nice to hear that engine noise once again. I'm kind of used to the C40, of course, being electric. So there's not that much emotion in it, maybe. But well, in this one, if you put your foot on the pedal, you hear that the engine wakes up. Also with a bit of turbo whistling, especially when you go above 3000 uh, RPM, then you really hear that engine working with the turbo, which is pretty cool. Besides that, the steering is also quite heavy. Heavy car, of course, this one is a 2007, so that's like 16 years old. And you kind of notice that, well, back in the days, the cars were a bit more firm, but I gotta say that when I just take my hands off the steering wheel it goes straight like a train the alignment on this one is uh, very good now there are multiple engines you could choose for on this XC90 uh, both diesel and petrol so all in all you had a handful of diesel engines I think the D5 is the one you see the most that was a 2.4 liter but you also see a lot of petrol engines still driving around um, you had a couple you had this 2.5 turbo also the 2.9 liter that was a T6 also the 3.2 liter and also the Yamaha V8 which is also a pretty cool engine but all in all over all these years it kind of turned out that the 2.5 turbo and the 3.2 well, are the most reliable engines the V8 is also pretty okay but with that one it's very important that it has been well maintained properly but besides that that's also the case with this 2.5 liter this one has about 200,000 kilometers on the clock so in the Volvo world we would say that this one is just out of the box still pretty new so I hope that this engine well will take us many kilometers still a lot now another thing I'm quite surprised about is how luxurious this car is and I didn't really think about that when buying the car but this is the summer so back in the day we had kinetic um, which was kind of the core nowadays with momentum which is a plus if you compare it and then also the summer which is the ultimate or the ultra spec and then also later on you also got the xc90 executive spec with like a champagne cooler and uh, some small party tricks in that one as well but this is the summer and well there are some cool things for example i never realized that there is an automatically dimming 
uh, interior mirror, rear view mirror for example. We got the cruise control. We still got an uh, old school uh, phone over here. Hello, hello. That's also a thing I'm quite surprised about. And I am forgetting already about a lot of cool features. We have the uh, advanced sound system. Oh, we also got the automatic uh, 6 CD um, changer player. I don't have any CDs, but that's uh, something to maybe get again. Now this one also has the dial watch odometer, speed meters over here in the driver's display, which was also an extra option back then. And well, we also got, for example, the chrome mirror caps heated seats, yeah, many things more. I'm kind of forgetting about a few now. By the way, also very nice seats, these old school Volvo seats, very comfortable. I often get a bit sore after like an hour driving or so, but in this one, yeah, I've been sitting pretty well for the past two hours. So yeah, all in all, this XC90 from the past is pretty impressive. All right, folks, it is the next day. Yesterday, it got quite late, was getting dark. So I figured let's round this video up today. So in total, we did a good 600 kilometers, which is quite a trip, especially here in the Netherlands. That's basically the whole country up and down. So are there any issues? Well, I'm quite happy to report not that much. There's this small stone chip in the front uh, window. Um, so that's a bit of a thing I need to get solved, but that will probably set me back like 60 euros or so. So no biggie at all over there. And then the other issue is that the car leans a bit towards the right when you need to brake at higher speeds, for example, on the highway. Now the tires are properly inflated and the alignment of the car is also very solid. So I am kind of guessing it's something to do with the suspension or maybe with the control arm on the right front wheel. So I guess I need to look a little bit more into that. And besides that, no big issues to report. Of course, it's a 15 or 16 year old car. So there are some squeaks and vibrations and especially this model is very well known for its squeaks and vibrations and noises here and there but all in all this one is still pretty solid and silent so i'm very happy with that but yeah this trip really reminded me what well volvo is and also was back in the day and i'm quite happy to get that old volvo feeling back a little bit and it's also quite interesting because this car also puts me well in a bit of a different perspective towards my own volvo c40 and also the Polestar 2 I have this week also on test that's also on my channel by the way so yeah that's quite interesting and of course you cannot compare this car to the modern c40 but all in all it makes you realize certain things like okay maybe the c40 isn't that bad on that part or well maybe this car is still very good on some parts but yeah that's uh, interesting to experience um, whilst I am driving both cars. So yeah, all in all, I'm a very happy Volvo XC90 owner, I gotta say. Um, I hope you enjoyed this trip. If you did, please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. That helps me out very much. So thank you so much. And for now, that's it for the XC90. And I will see you, of course, next week in a brand new video. Bye-bye.